Hello. So today is April 5th. I had some family come out and help me. We got the stove out. We got all the copper out for the most part. We got the bathroom out. I worked up on top. We didn't quite get that finished yet. So that'll be next week's project. Um, we did get, so the bathroom, the reason I couldn't get it out is because there was some piping there that we had to cut off. And then we had to cut the water heater out and the stove came out pretty good. We just had to beat it pretty hard and they had to unscrew a bunch of screws that I obviously couldn't see. And then we got the rest of it all cleaned up all the way down to the wood. So I've kind of got it all marked off now too, what everything's gonna be. So this will be like, well, as of right now, cause obviously if you guys have watched my journey so far, I've changed my mind a lot and I'm sure there's still some stuff that I'm probably gonna change. So as of right now, this will be a cat box. And then on top of the cat box, there'll be a little bench where you can sit and kind of put your shoes on. And then above that, like over here, I'm gonna have um, like a bookshelf to put like all my crystals and salt lamps and everything on. So that will be that. And then um, the composting toilet will be in this area here. Then the shower. Um, that electric box is going to be moved to the other side where all this electric stuff is. So I'm moving that. So the shower will be right there. And then we'll come right over here to on top of the wheel well will be my fridge. And it'll be about the same height as the air conditioner. A little bit higher, so I'm hoping that it's going to fit that way. It measures out, but... We know how my measurements have worked so far. They've been pretty good, pretty accurate, but some things are a little bit tighter. Um, and then right here, we'll have like a foot of storage. So I'll have like some cubbies and then counter stop, counter um, top area as well. And then this is still going to be my bed area here. And then I've got it marked off so you can kind of see it where like the QB shelves will be for storage. So it'll be two cubes high. And then I'm gonna do cubes on that side as well so I can put like my jumper cables and like stuff like that on that side of my bed. And then above my bed will be a hanging bar for my clothes. It's a five foot hanging bar. And then on the side of the, or in front of the clothes, I'm gonna put a white curtain. I bought a projector, so that will be my TV. And then up here is going to be plants and kind of like winter storage. And I still, I mean, I'm sure I'll use it for more storage stuff. But with it being so open, I really want to put some plants up there and kind of get that all opened up there. Obviously, the cats will still have room to go up there. Um, we took the water tank out for now. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. If I want to do like a bag gravity water or if I want to do like an actual water tank with a pump and everything. Kind of going to wait and see how that goes. Um, over here, I'm going to have a plug-in and then a plug-in light for like a reading nook light um then again the storage here and then on this side of the wheel well i'm going to do a desk so i'm going to have like a little nightstand here and then i'm using the table that used to be here as a desk so that will be over here as of right now this is like the only area well this leaks really bad so we got to get that fixed obviously the wood is all rotted so i talked to my cousin about doing the roof um, we're going to do a rubber roof and then we're going to get some tin to close off all these open areas like this used to be the heater. This was just ventilation I think they had for the fridge. I am going to close the roof um, skylights just so I don't have to worry about it leaking because they do tend to leak in most RVs. So I'm just going to cover them up completely. I've got enough windows with like that big window and this big window and then all of these. I have enough ventilation I believe. I'll have an air purifier in here and then I also have like a little USB fan that I am going to have a solar um, plug-in for a USB so I can either use it for my phone or use it for that fan. Um, I have a couple USB lights that I can use just so if I am boondocking and I don't have electricity I can use that for a little bit. Um, and then yeah so above my bed on this side I'm going to have a shelf and then I've been debating still if I want to have the top walkways for the cats. We'll see how much room I have once we get in here and we are kind of placing the shelves, how much shelf room I want. I was thinking a foot per shelf, but 
we'll kind of see how that goes once we get the walls up and we'll figure that out later um but yeah so my desk will be here and then i'll have um a short chair that goes under there for when guest comes over and then a taller chair that will go under there for like when you sit at the desk and then um, I'll have shelves up above for my computer and books and stuff like that desk office type stuff um, I do do some direct sales and multi-level marketing so I'll, I work with my computer a lot so I'm hoping I can get enough in sales with those two companies that I won't have to work as much I do also do reflexology, which is um, pressure point massage. So I'm hoping my goal is to just do those three and create enough income that I can live efficiently in this. Um, but yeah, so then that again is the cat area. I am looking at getting maybe a new door just so it's a little bit more secure than your typical camper door. But I can always change that later. As of right now, where I'm going to be staying is safe and I feel comfortable. Um, I have a few different places where I have in mind to stay and everything, everywhere that I've been looking in this area, I feel safe that this door will do just fine because it's done just fine for 12 years since we've camped in it. Um, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'm excited. I ordered for these windows back there. Um, I did order some like blockage so you can't, it's like frosted. Um frost covering whatever you call it so you can't see in those windows since the toilet will be right there and then I'm gonna make some curtains for this one just because it's above my bed I don't really want everyone seeing in so um looking at this window here my bed is gonna go till about there so most of the window is taking up my bed but that'll be okay we can get a curtain and it'll be perfect so I'm just gonna try to step as far back as I can here and get kind of a full look oh I forgot I was gonna do this one horizontal oh whatever next time